guys, Lissa here, and today I'm going to be going over a new deck from APX Void. APX Void is a mage master. Anytime you need a mage deck, you need to go to APX Void. I will make sure to link all his information down below. You can find APX on YouTube, you can find him on Facebook, and he also has some streams on Twitch still. He also has a very vibrant Twitter where he always posts his deck codes. Great guy mage master make sure you follow him i'm going to be going over his first mage um uh, highlander list that he came out with this uh first day at the scent of dragons he also came out with a giant cyclone list which looks super fun but this list right here got him to rank three legends so i think this is a good one to showcase uh it shows off a lot of the new dragons and new cards so let's go over it it has Arcane Breath, which is deal 2 damage, and if you're holding a dragon, discover a spell, so super powerful. It's just kind of like magic trick, but magic trick, you discover a spell that costs 3 or less. This one, you're discovering any spell, and you're dealing 2 damage, so super powerful. You get to discover a spell if you're holding a dragon with an old card, Fire Tree Witch Doctor. New card, Scale Rider, which deals 2 damage if you're holding a dragon. Azure Explorer. Spell damage plus two, discover a dragon. Now this is a four mana two three, so it seems a bit underwhelming, but with shooting star and with arcing breath is super powerful. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, he has big old wealth, which draws a card that's a dragon. Malagos aspect of magic, new legendary dragon that discovers an upgraded mage spell. Uh, really cool. Rolling fireball, very cool new mage card. It's very important if you're facing a mage that you play around this when you position your minions because what this does is it deals 8 damage to a minion and any of the excess damage continues to the left or to the right. So it goes in one direction and so basically you wouldn't want to put a 5 health minion next to a 3 health minion because it would clear both. You could put a 5 health minion, then a 10 health minion, then the 3 health on the other side and that way it doesn't properly kill off two minions. So you have to really think about positioning facing mage with this cool new rolling fireball. Dragon caster is a new dragon. Well, no, not a dragon. It's a caster. My bad. If you're holding a dragon, your next spell costs zero. And dragon queen Alex Straza is in here. Of course, fun cards like puzzle box. Now, one thing I will note is that he took polymorph out for bone wraith uh because of all the shamans that he was facing he thought that this card was better for shamans so if you're facing a ton of galacron shaman put in bone wraith if you're not you can take it out for polymorph so that is what he wrote on twitter let's try the deck it's a rank five right now so oh four barely let's, uh, let's get this win going i have not played the deck at all so hopefully i don't make any misplays um you know how much I love when my misplays get called out. Jaina, right, so we are facing a shaman, and I put in the bone wraith, so that's hopefully Hours. good. Um, the most shamans are probably going to be Galakron based shamans. I will keep my Twilight Drake because it's a really good card to play on four. Uh, but earlier cards we kind of need. Doomsayer is good. Arcane Breath is nice. A lot of the shamans are doing the, the lackey totem, so that could deal with it so they don't get too many lackeys built up. We have the dragons in hand to proc it so that we can discover a spell. You can always use this to deal two damage. You're not always going to discover a spell. So it's a little time. Alright, so he's playing the Battlecry version. Um, I know not all of the Galakron sh uh, shamans are playing Battlecry, just some are. I believe Zelay is right way. one of the main reasons people love the Battlecry still. Zelay loves the Battlecry. So this only does two damage. If this was out, it would do four. It's not enough. We can just ping it for now. We can consider doing Flameward next turn or pinging something in Arcane. Cause you could put out a draw card, like a two, a one, one draw card or something like that. So that's where you would like ping and okay, and there's the lackey. Yeah. So this, you can either ping arcane or flame word. Seems there's interesting. Seems there we would clear the board two, three, four, five. So the problem is with this 
it's seven health and he has five on the board and we can assume that a lackey could be the rush which adds one attack so anything from him plus the lackey would <coughs> kill it or you would get the two damage lackeys so there's a lot of lackeys that would kill that and they do not have a lot of health buff uh minions if any there's a new card that does buff plus one plus one but that's not enough to get through flame word so i think flame word's better in this situation because of all those things so he loses that tempo he's building and then he could put down a three drop just a little one one this is a great chance for us to take the board back with our twilight drake just such a good four drop having the big big minion on board obviously this plays way better than the azor drake because azor drake is just a two three so easily killed by a lot of things shaman can have getting a, a galakron invoke which would, would kill this he just invoked a galakron twice this card is seriously strong Seriously strong. So, two options here. We can coin Reno, clear the board, take four face. Galakrond, you can't play till seven, and it's only been invoked twice, anyways. Um, I think I like that just to keep pressuring because we don't have a ton of pressure in hand. He's gonna put down the two five sixes probably next turn. So, how do we deal with the two five sixes? Well, if we have a four six and a four eight on board. We can use these two things to clear. If we use these two things now instead. Mm. We would press the three. Because then this wouldn't clear the two five sixes next turn. But these would. With the trade. So this is powerful now. Invoke. See if he does. There's the two five sixes I expected. Now we can't kill them because one minion's frozen. That's unfortunate. We do get a free spell. Not that that would be powerful. This would make this do four damage. Dang. That's mean. He kind of bullied me, man. So. So this discovers a spell. Is there a spell we could get? Because this does clear with this. If we don't get what we... I think we check what we get first. I don't think it would matter to do this. Because then you're just doing two damage. Uh, Blizzard's nice for next turn. This isn't nice. We don't really run elementals. And um, we have card creation here. So we don't really need the draw. Um, so now we decide, do we want to bump in Diliac? I don't think that's quite great. Let's see what this is first. Fort. Frost Nova. I think the Frost Nova, I suppose. Turn that down. Rope the crap out of him. Frost Nova. Maybe the Scorch was better. We don't want to have elements. I don't know how that would get reduced. Um, except for with this. <laughs> but at the same time, we know that he can Galakron, which would make 288 eventually. Probably by now. And then he's going to do it again with Shutterwalk. So you want multiple freezes for those kind of board states to deal with it with Doomsday or something like that. together are really good on turn 10 I'm sure because then you can make Blizzard do 4 damage or Flame Strike would be real powerful so his quest is done before he Galakrons so now when he Galakrons he's gonna lose his Galakron quest so I like doing this first that way we get another body on board we need bodies on board so that if he were we have something to kind of like make them have less health <laughs> it's a little scary 
with the battle cry. Lucky. I guess this, if you complete the quest, my guess is that he doesn't have Galakrond in his hand. All right, he's gonna get two dragons. This is very good refilm. Of course, it's the right way. Now we have Alex Draws in hand. Um, not a ton of burst. Definitely can remove that with these two. Trade ping. Is there anything more powerful? Because we can't, if we did this, we could get through with a ping, but we'd leave three 1-1s one up. Do. do we want to waste this and not get the spell damage out of it? Next turn is Alex Straza, is the tempo play, and Caligus on 10. We're just pinging. And then we have six what mana to, to spend. What to do? Hmm. I think I need to discover something. I think I lose the value in the spell damage. But we're just like low on stuff. Pretty Twilight Drake. Time runs out on me. That way, we're developing more tempo. And we trade in the 2 2 so that. Play around MC Tech. Make them easier to deal with. Tempo good. Big minions good. Development good. Our card draw bad. Where's our cards? Your feeble magic amuses me. Okay, that thing is big. <laughs> Getting everything into it is going to be hard to deal with. Ooh, buddy. Alright. So here's the thing. If we do this, we're going to get two free dragons, which is pretty sweet. I would only probably play one. If you ever do this instead. Mm. I don't think you do. They're the same size. This is creating value and this is reducing his his space. But we don't have any burst damage right now. So I don't think it's like as important. Especially because we don't Life technically have the board. Spell damage to overload to. Play all the cards your opponent played last turn. Well, he played them. So if I do that, then there's four big minions. He empty decks. I have to rush this in. And I, uh, I don't think that's good. I think we wait to do that. I do this. And on 10, I actually have eight. There's stuff to do. I think this is bad. Because we'd have. Over four minions, we'd have to trade in the four seven to play around MC Tech, and then the seven seven just goes into the seven seven. So we just re wasted the four seven going in. Some non-target minions double over there. The power, We wait for something really greedy with this. Oh, a draw card. We can draw with Ziliax. It's pretty good. It's a lot of damage. Alright, so this <laughs> we cannot target. Um, and good positioning properly. That is good for him. Mean for us. I do like Ziliax here. I don't have to memorize all these things. There's certain things that are free from it. Unity, precision, some things that are not free. Some things cost one. I know that. Or what? What? I'm gonna make this trade so that this trade's bad. And this trade, this trade's good. It's good. There is a card that deals four damage to all opponents' minions if you're holding a dragon. I don't think they run that, because I don't think they run dragons. So I think we don't play around that. It's fine. Um, are you? 
Ron. That's me. I know this gives us cards that go space. You freeze. I can do this. You think this is your time? Right. It is mine. You think this is your time? It is mine. And we're gonna do a frost nova. Um, is there a minute freeze a minion? I draw four cards. I think we're gonna freeze this way. We don't have enough like face damage to use this powerfully to the face. I think we just If you MC Tech, he only gets one because we didn't put out five, so we can't hear power MC Tech. I'm just gonna hope it's on eight eight. There's two kind of eh, minions there. Even if he gets an 8 8, let's say, we'd have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 oh, damage. So maybe the frost, uh, the ray of frost was better. Wow. That deals two. Oh, if I would have taken the three damage. Oh, I missed Layfall. That's unfortunate. Um, what did I take instead? Draw four. Oh, sad panda. An A sad panda. Well, now we know. So we'll do this. The fate of the world. We're gonna talk over probably. Okay. Lethal every time. Your time has come. If I wanted to found lethal, I would have frost nova and we would have basically lethal next time unless we do. I like this deck. This deck seems powerful. I mean, everyone's saying Galakrim Shaman's powerful. Have you seen this deck? So, if you enjoyed this deck list, make sure you follow APX Void on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube. You guys are YouTube. Make sure you follow him all those places. He posts tons of mage information. I will put the deck code below. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Have a great day. Bye.